clearly, it is in the company's interest to make their workers as satisfied as they can be with the work that they do. Consequently, uh, anything that you can do to increase an employee's freedom to act, uh, to increase the personal responsibility that he or she feels for the job, to let them be involved with decisions that affect how the job gets done, all of these will go a long way toward increasing job satisfaction. However, there are a number of standard uh, strategies that are used in industry to increase worker satisfaction. One of them is called job enrichment. Job enrichment uh, is a general term that's used to anything that makes a job more challenging and responsible, make the work more engaging. Uh, this is often easier to do in white collar and professional work than it is in factory work or work for laborers. Um, although in some of those jobs, the workers really don't expect the work to be enriching. So the lack of um, interest in the job itself may not be as much of a source of job satisfaction, or I'm sorry, job dissatisfaction as it would be in uh, more white collar jobs. Job rotation is a way of making the worker more engaged with their work by giving them different jobs to do. So they might work at one task for a month and then they're rotated out and they work on something else for the next month. And uh, this gives them some variety in what they do. It puts them in with different people. It's more stimulating. They learn new skills and there are other benefits for the company as well. If the worker has been trained on a variety of different jobs, that makes them more flexible and versatile and you can plug people in in different situations as people leave or other needs arise. Designing for task identity, meaning uh, you give the person the opportunity to identify with one group of work and not just see it as this endless stream. Um, so for example, batching is a technique that's used where you give workers small manageable sized bites of work to do. Let's suppose you're a supervisor in an office where people are processing tax returns. Uh, you work for the IRS and as these returns come in, somebody has to sit down and go through them, make sure everything's done correctly. Well, if you just bring in a truckload of stuff and pile this mountain of tax returns there that the person looks at, they feel defeated right away. They don't see any end of the work and it's not even possible to identify it as a job that can be completed. Whereas if you bring in small batches of work and the person can see that he or she is making progress and that the pile is getting smaller, there's this incentive to keep working and get that batch of work done. Now they know that there's more work coming their way, but see, not being overwhelmed by it and uh, presenting it in small batches can be very effective. Job enlargement is what happens when you do a whole job, just not a small part of it. Uh, this has been shown to increase the quality of the work and it makes the workers more flexible and interchangeable. So in some ways, this has the same effects as job rotation. Um, so an example of this would be if you're on an auto automobile assembly line, instead of having people just standing there putting on the same uh, side rear view mirror over and over and over again, uh, they're working on a car in a way where they're uh, doing a couple of different tasks as part of the overall job. It's important to design jobs for feedback and success. People need to know whether they're doing a good job or not. They need to know whether they're making progress toward the goals that have been set for them or not. They need to understand why what they're doing makes some sense. Um, so you want to avoid goallessness. You want people to feel like they understand why they're doing what they're doing. They know what they're working toward. They'll know if they've been successful or not. And it's better to use positive rather than negative goals. In other words, work towards things that will give you rewards rather than just telling people work hard or you're going to get fired. So uh, positive goals and clear goals are very important for job satisfaction. And just deal honestly with the issue of monotony and boredom. Uh, a lot of work is repetitive. It's not terribly interesting. So anything you can do to increase the interest level of the person's life there will be good. We've mentioned job rotation, strategically scheduling rest breaks, even doing social rearrangements where you mix up work groups 
So people are at least meeting new people and expanding their social network on the job. These are all ways of designing jobs to increase job satisfaction.